Alrighty, finally back with some videos, have a ton of cool ideas lined up, but let's get right to it. I have a really cool video for you discussing a major renovation that is coming to an attraction at Canada's Wonderland. Well, let's just get it straight out and say it's a roller coaster. One of the roller coasters at Canada's Wonderland is about to receive an extremely pricey renovation. Um, with that being said, so excited to talk about it. I've known this information for about two months now, but I've been waiting for the right time to share it. Um, but wait, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, Canada's Wonderland's calling. One second, let me take this. Hi, this is Brendan. Yes, 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 I am making a video right now. No, 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 it's not about the Kingswood renovation quite yet. Don't worry, no, I'm not leaking anything about that. No worries, all right, have a good one. Woo, got a little nervous there. Uh, with that being said, that was so cheesy. I feel like I should edit that out of the video. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to talk about Vortex. Vortex at Canada's Wonderland, um, for those of you that have had your eyes peeled, can pick up on some of the things that are going on that definitely pinpoint towards a renovation coming. Now, this isn't why... I know that a renovation is coming to Vortex. We've known because we know people in the uh, the community. We know a lot of companies that work on attractions, um, especially a lot of American companies. Um, with that being said, um, Vortex is supposed to be, and I'm using the word supposed to, and I'm gonna talk about this a little later on in the video, be getting a extreme makeover. When I say extreme, I'm talking about making the ride brand new. The goal for the renovation, from my understanding, is to have the ride running the best it's ever run, better than when it opened back in whenever it opened. I don't know the date at recording this video. I don't write notes when I make my videos. I know that upsets a lot of core enthusiasts, but I like to just rant. So a lot of my videos are just literally me talking right now. But with that being said, they want the ride to run better than it did when it first opened. I don't know what that entirely entails, but I do know that there's gonna be a lot of retracking. Um, not necessarily when I use the word retracking, removing a piece of track and giving it a brand new piece of track. Um, they're gonna have machines going in and literally analyzing every single little tiny crack fracture on the track, um, any crack fracture on a support column and completely redo it or rework it. Um, with that being said, they're also gonna rework some of the um, systems on the ride whether that be the speakers, the station, the wheels, the pistons, the trains, ordering brand new trains. Um, a lot of that is up in the air. I don't know exactly what it's going to entail. I just know that they, Wonderland is spending a fortune on it. Now, the reason I said that this is up in the air now is this was a guaranteed thing, by the way, for 2023. It was uh, already paid for, which makes me think it'll still happen. But for those of you that don't know, Leviathan had an extremely unexpected pricey um, cost Maintenance cost added to it this season. They had to order a brand new lift motor and the estimated price tag on that was about $500,000. So I'm not sure if that's gonna push this back then because of that unexpected price tags. Remember Cedar Fair does hold its parks to really strict budgets in terms of maintenance. So with that being said, something like this might be pushed back, but I do know that there is track work that needs to be done on Vortex. So I can't see it being pushed back too far. But for those of you that have had your eyes peeled, you'll notice a lot of chalk markings on the track segments and the support columns of Vortex. That's your telltale sign that something is coming. Um, now, <laughs> don't get too excited. It's not gonna be anything like, it's not gonna be a brand new ride. It's not gonna be anything like, oh, Vortex is gonna have a new element. No, it's gonna stay, stay the exact same. There's no track being added to it. There's no new element being added to it. It's just taking something super valuable, super important to Wonderland's history. And to me, honestly, I think it's an icon in the park and just making sure it stays a lot longer. So we now know Vortex has no plans to be removed at Canada's Wonderland and it is here to stay. So I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys are super excited about that. But because of that, I do hope it gets a new paint scheme. I would love to see a more rustic look. I really hate the silver support columns. So I'd love to see them blended in the area. Now with knowing the amount of money that Cedar Fair is about to spend on Canada's Wonderland over the next three years, uh, I have a feeling that they're going to retheme this and give it some importance. I could see the station even getting some rework done. I think the trains are going to stay the same. I actually love the new trains that they did a couple 
couple years back. Um, it's, to me, it's just about color scheme and maybe some rework on the station and the um, queue line for the ride. So that'd be awesome to see. But that's all the information I have on Vortex right now. Just keep your eyes peeled. It's gonna take place over the winter. Um, for those of you that want even further proof as to this is happening, you'll notice last season, they laid down a lot of gravel in the lake um, for machinery to come in and work on Vortex. So for those of you that watched my videos last summer, um, and last fall, I think, you noticed that they were laying down gravel um, for machines to come in and work on Vortex. So another telltale sign. Anyways, thanks so much for watching our videos and supporting the channel. There are about one to two videos coming out a day now. I'm literally committed to keeping this channel going um, and refueled and just ready to go now. Um, so super excited and uh, yeah, hopefully this was the news you guys were looking for. I know a lot of people were like, RMC, RMC, no Wonderland. I said it was something Wonderland wouldn't announce and RMC is something Wonderland would announce. So definitely, yeah, super excited. Thanks so much guys, bye.